so today's vlog is going to be slightly different um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, songwriting, how I songwrite, where I get my inspirations from um, a few other points and ideas like that so yeah I've written down some thoughts so we will we will see see what happens um, yeah so I'm going to talk a little bit about how I write songs where do my lyrics come from? Favourite th song I've written today? Lyrics versus music? Dream co-writer? Uh, and maybe who I'd like to sing with with my original music? Um, to kind of start off while I'm talking, I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone. Um, <clears throat> I've got my, my gorgeous scratch here, which I'm loving. However, I'm not particularly loving the, uh, the strings that are on here. Um, <coughs> um, and so I'd like to change them. So I have uh, my trusty Elixir tens, which I'm going to change them to. These are actually OptiWeb ones. I normally use the NanoWeb ones. Um, I didn't realise I'd picked up a set of OptiWebs. So I'm going to give these a try. I, I trust these as a make anyway. Um, so you might think, well, Paul, hang on a minute. You've just spoken about the fact that you're going to you're going to do songwriting and talking about that. Um, why would you change a set of strings on a vlog while you're talking? Um, because for me, the change of strings can make a hell of a difference. Um, I've actually played my, my trusty acoustic here. i played that over and over again. Tried to write a song. Gone round and round in a loop. Not really felt it. Not really got there. Put a new set of strings on it. Picked it up and it's, it's like a whole new guitar. And I've ended up completely recording a whole new song that day, 20 minutes later, whatever that might be. So, um, so yeah, really, this is kind of the idea. It's change strings on this one so that they feel a bit, um, they're thin. They're the, I think these are nines on here. I've never been a huge fan of nines. I watched a video the other day by a guy called Rhett Shaw, who spoke a lot about tone and strings and so on. Um, but I kind of feel that, for me, tens are what I enjoy. I was talking to another guitarist friend of mine. He's he's in a similar sort of boat. He prefers tens, so we'll change these over while I'm talking, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll see what it sort of sounds like afterwards. Okay, so how do I write songs? That's a good question. Um, I've been asked this question many a time. Um, the thing for me really is I don't try and sit down and write a song. I kind of just seem to come to me. Um, I'm going to talk a lot about um, Turn Down while we talk through this vlog, only because that's the most recent song I've written. Um, and the way I went about writing that and the thought process behind that was probably a little bit different for me to usual. Um, <clears throat> I've um, I've very much been a, a pick up a guitar, play around a bit, see if anything comes to me. Um, and then work from there. Um, there's a couple of songs that I've written over the years. Um, probably Brighter Day, which is about my girlfriend. Um, for those of you who haven't heard that, please go and check that out. It's on Spotify, Apple Music, usual places. Um, you can also find a rather amazing video um, done by Antics Music when I did a cafe session for them. I'll try and remember to link that in the description. Um, they did a gorgeous live video for me of me playing that at a session, um, which I really enjoyed. Um, that song, I, I'm i very much, uh, if I can't write a song in one go, it's probably not a good enough song to be out there. Um, and actually that was a song that I started writing, um, and then I went back to. Um, and I went back to two or three times. And I actually ended up completing the lyrics a couple of days after I'd originally started writing it, which for me is is just a rarity. Um, so normally I'm, I'm very much a, a write song in one session kind of person um, and go from there. But uh, yeah, that didn't really sort of happen this time um, or with that song. Um, Turned Down I wrote in one session. Um, Turn Down was a bit of a weird one for me because it was triggered from a TV programme. 
Um, I think I've explained this before in previous vlogs, but for those of you who don't know, watch a TV programme called Catfish. Catfish is all about meeting people or, or, or talking to people online who aren't always who they say they are. I mean, sometimes the programme finds out that the person is exactly who they said they are. And the couples either get on and, and they're together or for whatever reason they decide it didn't work. Um, <clears throat> they've got a new co-host on there now. And uh, I'm not saying it was her because I think it was uh, one of the temporary ones at the end of the last season. And and they were talking about things and, and she sort of said to her, you know, but she always knows what to say and she always knows what to do. And the co-host said, yeah, but when you turn down the volume, what's left behind? And and that kind of resonated with me a bit. Um, and I think that's where a lot of my songwriting comes from, is somebody saying something or somebody doing something that all of a sudden just triggers a thought. Um, I mean, Brighter Day was, was written because I was thinking about past relationships and how things have been that way. Um, and the fact that actually... Every time I see my girlfriend, you know, doesn't matter how I'm feeling really, she does kind of brighten my day up. I can have awful days at work. And uh, it sounds cheesy and it sounds corny, but it's true. I come home, um, or I, you know, when I was living away, I'd give her a phone call and it would just, you know, completely change everything. Um, and then I've written songs like, like Batman, which, I mean, everything's black and yellow. You know, I'm a massive Batman fan. Yes, I haven't read the comics. Yes, I'm, I'm not going to be a big geek that knows everything down to the nth degree. It started with a, as a joke with an ex of mine and actually I just became really into it. Um, I've got loads of Batman stuff all over the place. Um, I wrote songs like Call My Name, which was genuinely because I had friends in a dark place, uh, more than one, and I did keep saying to them, you know, just, just call me, doesn't matter. Midnight, one o'clock, I don't care, just call me and we'll talk about it. Um, and, and, and people don't because they're ashamed or, or they, they don't feel that you actually mean it. Um, and I was very much like, okay, you know, and, and Call My Name kind of came to me. And actually Call My Name used to be the staple track I used to start or finish my sets with. Um, bit of a weird one to say, Paul, why would you start or finish a set with such a sad song? Um... The thing is with my songwriting, I always try and keep the song upbeat. Um, even if the subject matter may be a bit grey or or a bit down, um, I always try and keep the the actual song um, in an upbeat. It might be a minor key, but the strumming pattern or the, the feel of the song needs to be reasonably upbeat because I think you can write sad songs that don't sound like sad songs. Um, you know, actually, if you take people like Ed Sheeran and, and even James Bay and, you know, Paolo Nettini to a point, they all write songs or they've all got songs that the, the subject matter may not be the most, uh, happy, exciting sort of subject matter in life, but the way the song is written, you, you don't necessarily think about it. So yeah, that's kind of how I how I do my songwriting. Um, you know, where do my lyrics come from? I think I've kind of covered that a little bit in the sense of it's just however how I'm feeling. I do not feel I write personally. I do not feel I write good lyrics. Um, it's something I struggle with. It's something I mull over a lot. Um. I'm very much uh, a guitarist. Um, I wouldn't even say songwriter. I've always said I'm a guitarist. Um, I can sit down, I can come up with melodies, I can come up with chord progressions. Um, but I do struggle with lyrics. I do sit and mull over, is that lyric good enough? Is that lyric relaying truly what I wanted to relay? Um, you know, is is that what I mean, or is there a better way of wording it? Is that clever enough? I think that's the key thing for me a lot of the time. Is that a clever lyric? Um, you know, I I grew up listening to you know, Black Sabbath and Led Zeppelin and and Eric Clapton and you know some of the great songwriters of the years. Um, 
you know, and, and I listen to a line sometimes and I think that's so plain, that's so simple, that's just, you know, is there a better way I could relay that? Um, you know, and, and I kind of feel that, you know, songs like Brighter Day I tried to do that with, so I've got a line in there that says sunsets on a darkened sky. And the concept behind that line was that, you know, I'm having a bad day. Everything looks a little bit dark. Everything looks a bit, a bit black, you know. And for me, that was a smart line. That was a clever line for, uh, rather than just saying, I'm having a bad day and, you know, everything looks a bit, a bit out of it. Um, but for me, clever lyrics don't come necessarily naturally to me and I don't think you have to have clever lyrics I'm not saying you should for those of you that are, are sort of watching and listening and uh, you know are, are wanting to, to write songs and so on I'm not saying you have to have clever lyrics I mean Batman is just there's no clever lyrics in Batman at all um, just talking about wishing I was Bruce Wayne and about the fact that I would like to, you know, be somebody's Batman, protect somebody if they needed it, and be there for them. Um, you know, it, it's not a smart song in that way. I'm very good at rambling on, and very good at, at just, you know, meandering. I mean, obviously, as I'm playing, the, as I'm doing this, it's it's sort of making me think a lot more about my songwriting. Um, so, you know other places that lyrics come from I'm, I'm trying to get inspiration from others um, I do steal lines from songs I, uh, not necessarily lines I do steal concepts from songs um, you know because I think you know again I, I'm going to mention Rep Shaw again I've been watching a lot of uh, a vlog series of his called the Backstage Journal and that Backstage Journal is actually what, what drove me to create Behind the Wheels um, and he was talking about guitar playing and stuff and and he's also got a, a podcast and they were talking about songwriting and so on and so forth and and some of the stuff that they were saying in there is just listen to music listen to different stuff listen, listen to stuff that you enjoy get ideas from it you know both lyrically both musically you know just just take that that concept because at the end of the day, it's that whole nature nurture thing. You know, for me, yes, I can play guitar. I taught myself to play. The inspirations from from my dad, especially, that I learned um, musically in the sense of the music that I grew up listening to, I think has heavily, heavily influenced um, how I write songs and the style of music that I play. I mean... Somebody asked me the other day, you know, I was on, when I did the Air 107 and that, we were talking about, you know, what, what sort of style are you? What, what, what's your genre? Um, and I said, I like to think I'm in the blues rock area. And I do. That, 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 that's what I grew up listening to. That's the style of music I enjoy playing. Has my original music sort of gone into that genre? I don't fully know. I'll leave you guys to think about that. Um, you know, why don't you leave me a comment either on here or on social media and, and sort of let me know. Do you think that's kind of my my forte? Uh, I mean, when I've got instruments like this gorgeous thing um, and my Les Paul and stuff, you can kind of see that that rock and blues sort of thing is, is my kind of thing. I mean, I cannot wait for you guys to hear the full version of Turn Down um, because you, I think for any of you really that haven't, haven't found my original music yet please I um, first thing I'm going to say I'm not I've learned a lot doing turn down um, I've learned how to master I've learned how to mix better um, so I do apologize to those of you that have found my stuff and gone wow this is quiet or you know it, it, it doesn't sound audio quality wise the best it could I've learned that I've learned that very quickly I've got three albums out there I do apologize um, I may remaster them and, and re-release -re them out, um, but at the moment I haven't got the time to do that, um, so I do apologise that, but please do go back and listen to that sort of stuff, and you'll hear 
when I do my gigs on my own, it's all acoustic. Um, when I do my recordings, that's when the fun comes out for me. That's when, when these beauties come out and and I get time to express myself a little bit more with an electric guitar. Another way my thought process has been around songwriting is, it has to be about the way that you, the way that you feel. Um, and and if you can't write about the way that you feel, what are you really writing about? So yeah, when I when I talk about feeling and stuff, you know, it's about making sure that you've got that, you know. You know, does that feel good? Does that does that sound right? So how do I write my lyrics based off a set of chords? Melodies come into my head, so we go with that. And what I might do is I've got a looper, I'll put that down on the loop and I'll run through it. Um, I don't normally write on my electric, I normally write on the acoustic um, because it's easier. Um, I got the electric out now because I wanted to restring it. I'm going to chop the ends off these strings and I'm going to switch over to the acoustic. So with the acoustic, <coughs> I always find that I write a bit differently. So why write most of my songs on the acoustic? I play mainly acoustic. This is mainly my instrument. You know, if I go back to that sort of thing I was playing on the electric, you know. things I was asked a lot about is do you write lyrics first do you write music first I think you can tell quite quickly I write the music first um, it just comes more naturally to me um, I really struggle to sit and just write lyrics um, I've got a book at work a Harry Potter book um, <clears throat> and the idea was that I would sit and write lyrics down in it when they came to me and they don't um, until I've got something in front of me tangible I don't seem to write lyrics. Um, the other thing I like to do quite a bit is, you know, I'll, I'll pick a chord progression, so we'll go with that. And then I'll take a capo. And I'll just move it.
see if it sounds different, see if it sounds better, worse, whatever I can work with. So a lot of times for me it's about writing the music first. If I've got an idea, um, like we turn down. I was playing around and that's what came to me and then I came out with this um once I came out with that little hook that little bit that then kind of got me writing into the rest of the song um, and that's kind of how I write really I spend a lot of time just playing around. See, it's not there. That's the sort of thing that I'll start doing and then I'll start seeing if I can come up with the lyrics over the top of it and then I'll start thinking, well hang on, what do I want to write about? So um, some of the questions that was, was asked was, who would be my dream co-writer? Who would be my dream um, sort of person to, to sit down and, and get stuff out of their head and I think a lot of it really is is I don't know what style of music I'd like to write um, I've got some controversial answers just because it's not everybody's cup of tea but I mean I'd love to sit down and, and get into Ed Sheeran's head um, a lot of my style <laughs> I think Holy matches a lot of what he does. Um, I'm not a fast singer. I'm not that kind of rappy beatboxer style singer. Um, so I'd like to get into his head a little bit. Um, but I think really I'd love to sit into sort of people's heads more. Um, more like the guys from Led Zeppelin. You know, that sort of real, you know, where do you get that idea from? Like... Um, you know, like the tracks when the levy breaks and stuff like that. But I think a lot of that is from the musicality aspect as much as the lyrics. Um, lyrically, I think there are very few people now who I really think of are very good at writing lyrics. Um, uh, and that's not a detriment to local artists by any means. I think it's popular artists. So I think it's so easy just to... I'm going to be hypocritical because you could say I do this myself. It's so easy to write a song that people are going to catch on quite quickly with. Um, and this goes back to my earlier thing about smart lyrics and so on. And I think a lot of people, it's just so, you know, um, it's so easy just to write something that people know. I mean, we were joking around the other night. I was at the snooker club and, and I was like, oh, wow, the lyrics for that song were really hard to write. And I can't remember what it was, but it was like a, a 90s pop song and it was just the same thing over and over again you know and um but people love it and, and that's great and that's fine i don't have a problem with that um but as a musician you know, i'd love people to be able to have lyrics that hit home 
um, you know, <clears throat> Through the Spokes for me isn't a massively clever lyric song. Um, but I had a girl who's partially sighted come up to me afterwards. And uh, Through the Spokes is the, is the title track off the latest album. And it's all about coming and talking to me about my disability or just talking to me in general just because I'm in a wheelchair doesn't mean you can't come and talk to me. And um, and she said it really resonated with her because she feels the same sometimes that people don't want to talk to her. Um, and that kind of hit home quite hard for me. Um, and it actually made it somebody else's sort of viewpoint. So Dream Co-Writers. Really? Um, any of the guys from Led Zeppelin? Um, you know, Clapton's always been somebody. Joe Bonamassa, even. I mean, Joe Joe writes great songs, lyrically as well. And John Mayer, obviously, as well in that sort of area. Um, if I had to pick one, I'd probably surprise people and go with with either John Mayer or Joe Bonamassa at the moment. So, who would I want to write with locally? Uh, a guy called Larry Turner. Um, I don't want to say too much, but I've got a project going on in the background that. That may mean that I get to do that. Um, Larry is the front man for a band called Snakebite, which is sort of 80s metal covers, uh, rock covers, so uh, White Snake, Guns N' Roses, that sort of thing. Um, he's also in Black River Sinners, who are that amazing, amazing country act that I supported the other night. And he's also in a band called Echo of Us. I've always known Larry's a good musician. Um, and we sat down to learn a track called Borrow My Heart for a gig that we did. Um, I didn't realise the artistry and the, the musicianship that was there until I sort of spent that half hour hour with him learning that song. Um, and I just want to get into his head. I just want to see how he writes. Because for me, uh, the stuff he's written with Echoes of Us, um, Black River Sinners and, and previously a band called Ethereum, Again, it's clever. It's smart music, both from a musicianship side and a lyrical side. So I'd love to get into his head. Um, I was also asked who I'd love to sing with. Um, wow. Who would I like to sing with? Again, Ed obviously would be on my list. Uh, you know, James Bay is a bit of an inspiration. Um... But I'm going to go a little bit left wing here and, and there's an artist called Mary Spender who's uh, she's a YouTuber. Um, and again, to be honest, going back to co-writing really is probably somebody that I'd love to sit down and, and just spend an hour with. Um, Mary has got one of the most consistent rhythmic patterns I've ever seen in my life. Um, her She's right handed, but you know her, her, her picking hand is, is just constantly like on point you could almost put a metronome to her um i'll put a link to her details below um she's just released a, a lone wolf ep it, it's phenomenal um Rhett Shaw, who i mentioned earlier he's he plays guitars on that for a bit of it but mary's based in the uk and she's just clever um so i'd love to be able to work with her um you know just to, to sort of sing with and and to write with really um, local wise, who would I like to sing with? I've been lucky. I've been really lucky that I've managed to sing with Larry. Um, I've worked with some some other people. Um, Jordan Lindsay is probably somebody that I'd love to sit and and sing with properly. Um, again, I'll try and link him up. Uh, phenomenal musician. Um, there are so many great musicians in the local area. I'm talking mainly around the Yeovil area. Um, so. I've probably babbled along more than enough to get bits out for this vlog. Uh, but songwriting for me, just to summarise it, it's about feeling. It's about having a purpose for a song. Very, very rarely write a song that I don't feel has a point. Um, I very rarely will, will finish a song if I feel it's going nowhere. Um, and for me, it's about writing the music first. For me, as a... A guitarist the music has to come first for me um and in turn that inspires lyrics you know i think i think for me that's that's how i work that's how my head works that's how my head functions however if you were to send me a set of lyrics i can write a song from them i've done that before for people they've sent me lyrics and said could you write something for this and i'm like yeah cool let's go with it i've tweaked bits but you know i've kept it mainly the same 
So yeah, that's a little bit about me and how I songwrite. Um, I'd like to say a massive thank you to everybody that's been watching these vlogs. I, I am keeping an eye on the stats. Not massively, but it's lovely to see the people watching them. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to do something most YouTubers do now and, and, and it's not really my sort of thing, but please do subscribe. It, it helps. Um, at the moment, you know, I, I'd like to know what you guys think. Comment, please, like the video, write, you know, subscribe, write to me on social media. Just get involved if you can. The more I know, the, the better, and, and it will help me to do these. So thanks for watching.